Today, we're going to set your soul on fire and it will leave your heart smoldering the whole month long. Today, we're mixing rum and smoke. Before we set this bar on fire, we need to set a fire in our heart. This sounds like a job for Pusser's Rum. I wonder if Jack Sparrow would like this rum. I wasn't joking when I said we were playing with fire today. The rum and smoke is a smoky cocktail. I made this wooden box just for occasions like this. First, we'll whip up the drink, then I'll show you how to use it. Warning, I am a professional, and you should definitely try this at home. Add ice to a rocks glass, a bar spoon of smoked rosemary simple syrup, quarter ounce of Grand Classico bitter, but first we have to have ourselves a shot. Mm. That's a beautiful bitter. Nice tomorrow, guys. Pick you some up. Three quarter ounce of Oloroso Sherry. But first, we have to have ourselves a shot. I feel like I'm living an episode of Frasier. Oh, Niles, oh, Niles, I have a fresh sherry for you. One and a half ounces of an aged rum, but first we have to have ourselves a shot. Once again, it's better than Kool-Aid. Now we're going to light my fire. We're going to put the cocktail on one side of the treasure chest. And on the other side of the treasure chest, we're going to add dried rosemary. We're going to light the dried rosemary, shut the door, leave it for one to two minutes, open it up, and we will find smoke on the water. Garnish with fresh rosemary. And that's rum and smoke. Today's word of wisdom is profit. To profit is to earn off of someone else. Money talks and everybody wants some. Now you see greed spreads like a virus and with a virus. Cast your eyes back a couple years to 2020. There was this virus called COVID and what started as a real problem soon became a profitable enterprise for those who were in charge. So they milked us for everything we had with protective measures, tests, variants, sub-variants. But then the cash flow started to dwindle and the greedy bastards are scared they won't be able to suck at the taxpayer's teat very much longer. So they invented a new virus to be their cash cow. But it's not a cow, it's a monkey. It's not going off, buddy. 